Hello, this is Jeff Owl Kilberts. Welcome to my live call tonight. And how is it I still get paid on people who quit? And for those of you that do not know me, I've been involved in network marketing for over 40 years. I shared a lot of what I've learned in my journey on these live calls. Started in this business totally broke. I had to sell a junk truck to get started. I put $200 into my business. And so for almost 28 years now, I've been full-time in network marketing. So I'm I've got to do a live, I've got to do a Zoom call to a group of Koreans here in 30 minutes. So the protocol, the way a lot of Asians are, the protocol is you would dress uh, on the Zoom, for the Zoom, the same way you would is, is if you were at convention, okay? And that's their protocol, man. They believe... Uh, you know, you got to be dressed up and look professional. That's that's their thing. So, no problem with that. Uh, um, I don't mind doing that, except I don't have time between doing this call and then getting on the thank you and getting on the uh, uh, Zoom call. I wouldn't have time to change. So, normally I wouldn't be dressed up, but uh, it's okay. It's uh, hey Jenny, nice to see you. Uh, good to see you. Who else do? Uh, and then Steve, nice to see you. Let's see if anyone's overlooked. Uh, thank you, Steve. And Norman, good to see you, man. Thank you. And Tan, nice to see you. Tan from Malaysia. John in Baltimore, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, hello, everyone. Um, so uh, I hope you are having an awesome week in whatever you're doing and wherever you are. Amen, Amen. nice to see you. Oh, you're loving my book, okay, thank you. Hey Charlene, nice to see you. Good to see you Charlene. And Randy, nice to see you from Indiana. From the big country of Indiana. And Aman, I forgot where you're from, but you can, you can announce that. And Stan Comer from Indiana, good to see you. Good evening to you. Nice to see you on the call. Um, so, um, how is it that I still get paid on people who've quit? I, I did a post in Rank Makers and it seemed to resonate with a lot of the uh, leaders in Rank Makers. Oh, from Canada. Nice to see you, man. And uh, anyway, it resonated uh, very well. Johansel from the Dominican Republic. Nice to see you. Um, but it had to do with people and how they feel when they're not getting the kind of results that they want to get. Hey, Sean, nice to see you. Amaraz, nice to see you. Uh, they're not getting the results that they want to get in network marketing and they get frustrated. I want to tell you how you need to feel about that. When you are not getting the results that you're wanting, 
I want you to feel good about that. <laughs> You're like, oh man, now that's over the top, Jeff. How can I feel good about that? Please, hear me out, okay? Hear me out. And here's the thing. I want you to understand nothing is a waste of time. Nothing is a waste of time. When you're prospecting people, when you're doing this business, and when you're, you're not getting results, I'm telling you, nothing that you're doing is a waste of time. I want you to remember this, and you can carve it in stone if you want, okay? Some people you practice on, others you sponsor. Some people you practice on, others you sponsor. And for those that you sponsor, some of them, a few, become your rock stars. They become your drivers. That's what I want. I want that to sit in your mind right now. Now, how did you get those rock stars? How did you get those drivers? Hey, Andrina, and I see you. You got those rock stars. You got those drivers because you've practiced on a lot of people. See, in other words, yeah, I, I joked about this with my brother one time. This was a gazillion years ago, okay? I don't know how many decades ago. But when I remember, uh, oh, thank you, so Sophia. Um, I remember that, uh, and for those of you that's just joining, I gotta do a Zoom call to Korea. So this is the protocol for uh, Korean Zoom calls. <laughs> this is how they expect you to dress. It's like you are giving a speech in front of 10,000 people at an event, right? Uh, so, um, but going back to that, how did you get those rock stars? It was by practicing a lot on a lot of people that were wrong for you. I want to say that again. How you find rock stars, how you find drivers is by practicing on a lot of people that are wrong for you. I remember, like I said, a gazillion years ago, decades ago, when I was showing this to my brother, I wanted to use a visual to help him understand the, ex the power of network marketing, exponential growth. So at that time, <clears throat> those were in the days that we had printouts. I don't know if any of you ever got a printout on your downline in network marketing. If you have, you could say, I have. Now, I'm not talking about a recap statement on your check, okay? I'm talking about a, an actual printout on a, on a downline. I can tell you the last time I ordered one, what, what year was that? Um, I think that was 2003. I think it was 2003 was the last time I ever ordered one. And what happened was I was out on my sea on the lake because I had a lake house at the time. And I just came in, parked my sea jumped off on the boat dock, came up to the house, and I saw UPS left a big box on the uh, front porch of the house. And I'm like, well, I don't remember ordering any product. That's a lot of product. And I opened that box, and it was a genealogy on my downline. I said, oh, my God, I killed a tree. And that was the last time I ever ordered a genealogy because I had a guilty conscience for killing a tree, okay? So, of course, now, you know, we, we're sophisticated, right? We just, we look at it online, right? But, but I'm going to tell you, there's the impact psychologically of that is much different than looking at it online. Believe me, uh, physically is a bigger impact. But I understand today, we don't kill trees. I get that. I get that. But I remember back when I wanted to make this impression on my brother about the concept of exponential growth and all that and how I had a team, I had a huge downline, right? So I remember when he, when I, when we were together, I said, Hey brother, I want you to look at this. And so I rolled that thing out from one side of the house all the way to the next, just boom, boop, 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 boop. I was just rolling that out. I said, that's my downline. And his reaction was, 
Don't you show me that. Don't you show me that. Don't you try to get me in that. I'm not interested in that. And I said, oh, wait, brother, you got it all wrong. I'm just practicing on you. Then I'm going to go get me some good people. <laughs> that was what I said. <laughs> and if you're on this call, brother, you know that I love you. So, but uh, anyway, that's right. I said, oh, you got it all wrong, brother. I'm just practicing on you. Then I'm going to go get me some good people. You see, back then, that's what, well, that's, that was my attitude. That I viewed people two ways. I either, I've got those that I practice on and I have those I sponsor. And because you, because I say it that way, that means I've got a certain criteria that I only accept if I sponsor someone. Because if I've got somebody that's going to be an energy sucker, you know, you know, sucks all the energy out of your, your brain and all that takes up your time or they're toxic or, uh, Hey, Carlos, nice to see you, my friend. Um, if I have people like that, that they're going to sidetrack me, they're going to distract me, they're going to keep me from, you know, by taking up my time working with the right people. And that's, that's, you know, I've said this before, you know, many times that most of our time is spent with the wrong people because the ones that are working hard. We think, oh man, that's great. That's great, man. And that's awesome. They're working hard. But then we spend most of our time trying to convince those who are not that they need to do this. And we're, in a sense, we're just babysitting. That's all we're doing. We're babysitting these people. We're not helping them grow. And they're keeping us from working with the people that we should be working with. Well, you say, well, if they're independent, why do we need to work with them? Now you have to understand they have their limits. So there's people down in their downlines that are going to need somebody to reach down and run with and work with, and they can't run and work with everybody, can they? You know, we, we'd love it if everybody could properly duplicate responsible leadership, but that's very unrealistic, isn't it? That really doesn't happen. We have this assumption that, you know, because of how well we do it on our front line or for those we personally enroll, that everybody's going to uh, be like that that but they're not they're not and that's the problem and in anything beyond your third level you sometimes you just don't know what's going on which is a, a scary thing when you don't know what's going on so but but going back to that how we need to feel about that is and i i, I titled this how well you know how i still get paid on people that quit here's the thing i want you to understand is that sometimes uh when when they do quit that's not the end of it is because I found that when I drop down in that line and I find who's left behind, who did not follow that person or who did not quit, that those people have great potential. And I've worked with many like that. So that's something I want to encourage you to do. If you, if you don't know that, you know, the people that are in your downline, if you haven't gone that down, you know, deep in your group, do that, reach out to them, call them. Say hi to them, it, you know, hopefully your company gives you those kind of reports where you can do that. But where I want to direct more of this to, I want to direct more of this to how you need to feel about not getting results is that just understand that people are not a waste of time, even when they say no. They're not a waste of time because you practice on them. And the better you get at this. And, you know, we hear this, the old saying that practice makes perfect. I think you would agree with me there. That, that's a little erroneous. It's perfect. Practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. We have to perfect ourselves and sure. We're all lousy at this at first. I, I can remember when my brother uh, was learning drums <laughs> and my Oldest brother, the minute he was down in the basement beating that set, my oldest brother would run down there and they would get into a fist fight because he hated him learning drums. Because it sounded terrible at first. Well, of course, everybody sounds terrible at first. Then later I learned drums, but that was good because then he was off to college, so it was safe. 
And I actually, you know, well, same thing. I was terrible in the beginning. And then I started learning. Yeah. So uh, that's the thing. People are not a waste of time. They're not because for the most part, you're practicing on them. And here's the thing. So when you look back at the time and the money that you finally earned, that you finally earned, you were really getting paid on them all. And that's the way we need to view it. When you look back finally at the money that you're going to earn, you were really getting paid on them all because you put time into all of it, all of it. So I wanna thank for those of you out there, if you, if you are out there who said no to me or quit or quit me in years past, thank you because I'm still getting paid on you because it wasn't a waste of time. I learned a lot from it. I perfected my skills and then I found the right people. And that's the way you need to view it, my friends. It's never a waste of time, even when they say no. Don't get, don't get mental about it, okay? Just understand that's part of the process, but you're still getting paid on that. And guess what? Your money will increase. Not only does, did I get paid on that, I still get paid on that, but, I st but th those checks are bigger. That income is bigger. And that's what will happen to your income as well. Hey, Carolina from New Zealand. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, so now I got to get on a Zoom call. But it's been, I wanted to share that with you because when you have a different perspective, you have a different outcome. I had a different perspective back then. When I said that to my brother, oh, I'm just practicing on you. Then I'm going to go get me some good, good people. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Oh, man. And that's what happens. You, you find humor in it. Even though I know, sure, you, you want people to move along. I do too. But I understand it is what it is. And that's the way it's going to be. Some were, and probably most, we're going to practice on. Most we're going to practice on. Then we're going to find some good people. And out of those good people, then you're going to find some rock stars. But at the end of the day, after it's all said and done, you got paid on them all. So I'm going to go now to do my call. And uh, I want to wish you guys a happy week. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Share some other... I won't be so dressed up, okay? So I won't scare you. <laughs> anyway, everybody have a good night. See you then.